What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back with your video. Someone shared me this video on Twitter and I had to react to it because it's like we clearly see, you know, y'all seen the videos that I made talking about Sodom and Gomorrah and how you even seeing this being promoted in a church. It's getting so demonic. This is probably one of the most satanic, demonic, antichrist video I've ever seen in my life. So I hope you guys have your eyes to see and clearly understand that there is a war going on and even Satan is disguising himself as the angel of light. And there's a Bible verse that I want to share with you guys after you guys see this clip. So. Drag is holy. There has been an assault on the rights of drag performers in this country and we must call out the hypocrisy and the injustice. Jesus called himself a mother hen longing to gather up her chicks. Gender is a construct, you see. And if Jesus can be a mother hen, then you can dress in drag. I've even heard it said that Jesus was, and humanity is, God in drag. So let me say this again for those of you in the back. Drag is holy. And one thing that I noticed, guys, when, uh, in my life, in my walk with Christ, that Everything that I, like, especially that video that I watched, like literally a Bible verse popped up. Whenever there's a deceiver, and I know some of you guys can relate to this. Whenever there's a deceiver, whether it's in real life or maybe uh, on the internet, and you kind of feel like that person doesn't have sound doctrine, that person is, uh, you know, twisting scriptures, just like that person was. That person trying to deceive you, right? The Holy Spirit will give you a scripture to, to help you out. So, so you know, like this person, you know, don't listen to this person. This, is, this, this person trying to deceive you. And as I was watching that video, it reminded me of this Bible verse, okay? This is in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13, 15. Now I'll leave that verse right here so you guys can read it along. So it says, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers. Him, that guy, this is the child of Satan, he's a deceitful worker. Okay, he says, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, does no great thing of his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. Wow. So as you clearly could see, that person transformed himself as the apostle of Christ. You know, as a servant of Christ. He was talking about Jesus, even though he was twisting it. That's the same thing the devil does. So that person you're seeing, because I'm seeing a lot of his videos. I don't know this guy's name. But I'm seeing that this person is being promoted by the LG, you know, community. And I want to let you guys know, if you're struggling with a sin, it's better to just be humble and ask God for strength. Ask God, ask God for wisdom and, and walk in the spirit. Don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Instead of you being deceived and saying, judge not lest you be judged. Okay? People use that. People use Bible verses out of context to, to justify their sin, to stay in sin. But the Bible is supposed to be used to get you to actually be holy. Not to say drag is holy, something that's an abomination to the Most High. Okay, there's also another verse I want to give you, which correlates to these churches and camps and all these religious stuff right okay now there's nothing wrong with going to church nothing wrong fellowshipping okay if it's with the right people that's 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 the main issue okay a lot of these churches they don't have a sound doctrine they're not telling you about god's commandments okay they're not telling you the truth okay so this is a john chapter 4 verse 22 to 24 says and this is who the most High is looking for okay you worship you know not for what we know what we worship for salvation is of the jews but the hour has come and is now when true worshipers okay when true worshipers okay I shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeks such to, to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth, okay? So we know that we got to walk in the spirit, okay? And we know that we got to live, live in truth, walk in truth, okay? What is the truth? The Bible says that law is a truth. What these, what, these, what the Antichrist pastor is promoting is lawlessness, is, is, is sin, okay? And that's what's being pushed out because this is Sodom and Gomorrah. This is modern day. We know what happened. We all know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. We all know what happened to Lot's wife who looked back. Okay, we all know what happened. What, what was done in the past will happen again. Okay, God judged Sodom and Gomorrah. God's judging America. You guys see what's happening with the dollar bill, how it's going to collapse. And I've been talking about this on this channel since 2019. And back then, oh, Mark, you're just a conspiracy theory. Well, now we clearly see it coming to pass. Just, I'm pretty sure they say the same thing to Noah. Oh, you're a conspiracy theory. You're crazy. You're weird. But when the flood came, they were knocking. When Noah was building the ark, when Noah was being obedient, when Noah was applying his faith with works to build that ark, and the flood came, guess what they were doing? Oh, hey, let me in, bro. Nah, nah, you stay over there, bro. You chose Satan, so you, you stay over there. <laughs> and God destroyed them all. 
So you really think that's not going to happen again? So please repent. Please don't listen to these false prophets, these false uh, apostles who are disguising themselves as an angel of light. Because best believe, these are child, children of the devil. That's a devil. That is a demon manifesting human form. But many people don't have discernment, so they can't see. So I hope you guys learned something in this video. I don't want to make this too long. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. These are the Ten Commandments, guys. We got to keep. Okay, if you love God, you, if you love, remember Christ says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. So that's what the message is. Love you so much. I'm out. Peace.